Hello guys, hello, hello. It's Daryl with Lee's Lawn Care and Services. How y'all doing? I'm gonna show y'all my 2022 setup. Uh, I did get on the waiting list for a 48. Uh, I won't get that till next year, but this is the Z360Z 36 that I just got not too long ago. Didn't do a full review on it yet. And uh, I mean, it's, on, it's not even, I don't even think it has 10 hours on it, 6.2 hours. So, Let's take a look at that. It's got, uh, yeah, 6.2 hours on it. Um, man, this thing cuts like a dream, man. The only thing, only couple of things I, I don't, I wish I could do, which I'm going to do. I'm gonna change those tires. I'm gonna get some some fatter tires because the, the, the 33 that I had years ago had, I put some fatter tires on it, gave me better traction. This one gives me good traction, but it's more inclined to, if you turn too too abrupt it'll dig a hole and i think you can do that with any more but this one will do it a lot quicker because the tires are so narrow so i'm going to get fatter tires on it and uh that'll that'll fix that problem like i said i had a 33 years ago and that's what i did and man it it, it made the difference and i mean it only lasted five years but you know i got my time out of it i cut a lot of yards with that thing so this is my 36 i plan on cutting a lot of yards with it uh, I love it so far. Um, it don't have a gas gauge on it. It just has a tank. You just have to look at it and see where yet. I filled it up this morning. I cut like uh, five, either five or six yards today. I got off to a late start. I didn't get out till like 12 o'clock. So I got off to a late start. So I didn't get a chance to really get into a full days of work. But I mean, I cut five yards. I made uh, like 250. So it's not, not too bad today. They paid for that storage, right? So uh, this is my 36 uh, 360Z. I'm gonna get a 48 360Z next season. I'll have both of them running. Um, the next on the thing that I, next on the list I have is my Toro. I just bought just bought old Toro because uh, I needed something. So I went and spent 400 bucks, got a Toro. And uh, actually, uh, I had just the second one because the first one I had. Uh, was giving me problems, so I turned it back in, and uh, they just swapped it out, gave me another one, and this thing, this one runs a lot better. So I don't know if it was just a manufacturing thing or with it or whatever, but this one runs a lot better than that other one that I had. So I don't know what it was, but it runs pretty decent now. I just got, like I said, push more. I do have my snapper pushes in the storage, along with Thunder. Thunder's in the storage too, so I'm not using him as much. I'm gonna uh, next season. I'm gonna get rid of Thunder because I'm gonna get that new 48 that's gonna be coming. So I'll get that. I got the uh, Echo 770. That's my my main blower. One of my main go-to blowers that I uh, that I use. I have another Echo 770s in the shop. Getting a new tube and uh, getting some carb adjustments and cleaning and all that good stuff. So I'll have that back. I found this one. This one was on the ground, man. Somebody dropped it off their trailer. I picked it up. I was fortunate enough to be. The right place at the right time is the easy ebz 7500 red max this thing blows like a champ man so uh i mean red max i i grew i trained on red max when i was training to cut these yards and that's what i used that's what i trained on so when i saw this on the ground i'm like shit, it might be salvageable so i'm glad i picked it up and uh hey that thing runs great you know i think i got a that one of them lines got a little leak in it so i'm gonna change one of them lines out but that's about it, man. And I got the two weed eaters, of course, the uh, 3020s, two of them. They on the truck. And uh, the it's the Echo 3020s. You know, they real powerful, real strong weed eaters. They can take down bushes. So that's why I got two of them. And I have an edger that I, I didn't pack, but it's at, the, uh, it's at the storage facility. But this is my 2022 setup for my lawn care, man. Two uh, 3020s. Uh, Echo 770, I got two of them. One of them's in the shop. I got that Red Max uh, 7500. Um, that's running. And I got the Toro Push Mower. Uh, and I got the Snap, the 360Z. And uh, next season, I'll have the 48. And then most of my equipment will be brand new. And, you know, uh, we can we can go from there. Like, except for the blowers. I might. I'm thinking about getting that uh, 9010, one of them. But uh, I don't know if I need something that big. And I won't tote something around that big. It's not much heavier than the ones I got right now, but it's very, very powerful. And um, but I don't know if I want to go that big, you know, something 
these blowers are ideal to you know jump on off the back you know real easy so i don't know if i want to get with that 90 10. i guess unless i'm doing a lot of leaves and i would probably do it that way but this is just a quick video of my setup i just finished this property here we take a look at it the snapper cut it it's nice and smooth looks great came out great i got to cut the one down there remember that's the picky guy and then i got to go down the street and cut the other guy so that'll be tomorrow along with doing uh i think i gotta do my commercial account tomorrow so i'll be out and about but yeah guys this is my setup uh hope you guys are having a great season i'll catch you on the next one peace out